Now let's go about creating the arms. So I'm going to go back into the edit mode, shift A, circle. Let's just scale that down. G. Let's go back into Z. All right. About there, I reckon. Seems good. Shift D. And that's interesting. I've got it bigger. I quite actually do quite like that. So let's go this line. So what do we need to do is delete half the circle. However, if I go B and middle mouse, B and middle mouse, I would probably want these. I'm going to delete edges. So that's the middle. I probably want to get rid of this one to this one. And B's to box select, delete faces. I'm going to right click on this one and this one, face, right click and right click face, control L, face. Now the next thing I'm going to do is obviously we've got our blue shirt. I'm going to add a new material, blue shirt, plus to duplicate, and we will call it lighter. And let's just make that material ever so slightly lighter, assign. And so now we've got different differentiation between the, the arm and the shirt. So what we need to do now is we need to select these two points to get that cursor right to where we need it. Uh, sh and then we go shift S cursor to select it, shift A, and then we will add a new circle and let's scale that in. And we need to line this up. There we go. Now, so what we need to do this time though, oops, is I'm going to control L and select the arm and I'm just going to hide it because I don't want to be deleting any of those vertices. Now from here, I'm going to delete these vertices and delete vertices. So we've got this half semicircle. Let's add in another circle. Geez. Actually, what we could do is I'm going to delete those vertices. Control L, select all these. Control uh, Shift D to, ro uh, to duplicate. And let's just move it down the Y axis. I'm going to press R to rotate. 100 and 180 degrees and let's just make this a little bit smaller and we will connect these up Ooh, that seems a bit odd a bit off so let's just line these up okay Control L, F, whoops, F, assign, Alt H to unhide everything. I'm going to do Control L and let's just move this forward a little bit and select both of them now, GZ, and move both of them forward a little bit. So now we've kind of got this arm, which is really good. And we do have a circle. So if we, we know that this pivot point is the center. So if we go into uh, the pivot point and we do 3D cursor, if I just select this arm and rotate, we see we got a really good rotation. Now his arms do seem a bit short. It actually does look a bit short. So I'm going to deselect these. And let's G with a slight scale, control L, control L, and let's get rid of these. 
and kind of just move it down a bit. I think that'll be better. All right. Now, have we lost our... I don't think we have. That still looks like a pretty good circle. Excellent. So we still got our arms, body, and let us just quickly add in our hand. So in these drawings, as you can see, they've kind of got thumbs, but I found while I created my last short, I actually didn't really use it. So this is all I'm going to do is probably place it about here, F for a face, assign the skin, and there we go. We have now created our arm. So let's select these, control L, shift D, X, and let's just rotate it around and we'll sit it about there. Let's move it all the way to the back. And we now have our two arms created. We might actually just move it probably about here, I'd say. And there we go. So the only other thing is, is we've both got light, but that kind of works okay. However, I do prefer a darker so I'm going to select blue shirt, new, blue shirt, uh, duplicate that layer, darker, just that, control L, assign. And now we've got three types of shirt, I mean, three colors of shirt. 